let's talk about Walmart knives. So, when people hear the term Walmart knife, they think of something like a Ozark trail knife on some cheap little piece of garbage, not a high quality knife like these. What we have here on the table today to review, sort of review, partially review, I don't know, um, but we have ourselves a Kershaw Cryo, Cryo, which is one of the most popular knives in existence right now. And we also have a Sog Aegis Full Stainless Steel, which I actually didn't know that they made until I found this at Walmart. So let's get these guys out of package and see what's going on. All right, so um, first things first, the price on these guys. The Sog Aegis in Full Stainless Steel, this one goes for about $20, at least that's what I found it at Walmart for. Um, and the Kershaw Cryo was around $31. Both of these are gonna have HCR 13 MOV blade steels um, and full stainless handles. The Kershaw Cryo has a titanium carbon nitride coating. The SOG E just doesn't have any coating, it's just bare stainless steel. So right off the bat, we'll look at the SOG first. For $20, um, I think this is actually a pretty decent knife. The original SOG E just, which I love, goes for about $70. So having a $20 variant is pretty good. Um, the differences in these guys, uh, this one is not assisted and the $70 version isn't assisted. This guy is actually going to be a frame lock versus the sort of arc lock design, almost like an axis type lock. Um, still comes out pretty fast even though it is not assisted. It still pops out really, really nice and fast. It's smooth right off the bat. I mean, this guy's actually, this is a really smooth knife. I love the blade shape on this guy. The, uh, the Aegis just has a overall great blade shape for just general cutting tasks and whatever you need it for. So now looking at the Kershaw Cryo, this guy's a little bit smaller. Um, you have an assisted, uh, the Kershaw Speed Safe Assist on here, and it's a flipper design. Assisted, that's you're paying about ten dollars more. You got the assisted, the titanium nitride coating. You have tip up, tip down, pocket clip, uh, left or right hand side carry. The Aegis, you're only gonna get you're only gonna get tip up, uh, left or right hand carry though, and you get a deep carry pocket clip on that Aegis, which is just awesome. The Cryo still has a pretty deep carry pocket clip, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the Aegises. So overall, not a bad knife. A little bit small for my hands. Just I prefer a little bit larger knife than the Cryo, but. For a nice little EDC knife, this would definitely be a great option. So just because they're sold at Walmart doesn't mean that they're total garbage. These are actually two really good knives. Anyone that has a Cryo will definitely tell you that it's a it's a really high quality knife uh, for the price for around like thirty ish dollars. Definitely, definitely a good pickup. This does have the Hinder Lock Bar Stabilizer, which will prevent you from overextending your lock bar which is definitely a nice addition to see on a $30 knife. I almost prefer to feel the Aegis. It just overall feels like a slicker knife and it is a little bit cheaper. I mean, and plus I'm just I'm just a fan of that Aegis design. But yeah, so Walmart does sell some pretty cheap knives though and that's the issue where like their, uh, their Ozark Trail knives, they'll go for like $4. I do have a review on one of their Ozark Trail knives and it's decent, but I'd recommend saving up a little bit more and buying one of these guys. You know, you can definitely save up 20, you can definitely save up $30. They are way more high quality, they will last you a lot longer, and then you don't have to feel like you're carrying around a piece of garbage. Walmart knife. But yeah, until next time, go follow me on Instagram and all that fun stuff. Got a bunch of cool pictures up there, you can go like everything just to make me famous. So take care and stay safe.